Hi guys, Dave White from Whitey's Wicked Workshop here with another video for you. This one we're probably gonna get into how I did the screen, the space portal window behind me, tell you what kind of uh, projector I got, what kind of screen fabric I got, where I got it, everything, how I did the software, uh, we're gonna install it and I'm gonna go through it. This video is all about this. Finally, I had this done for a while and it's kind of been sitting there, but it looks so much better with paint. All right, let's get into the video. Okay guys, here we go. We're gonna do a search for OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. This is a software that uh, a lot of people use for live streaming and recording. So I have Windows 10 64-bit, so that's what this one is. Uh, here's the 32-bit and all these other ways you could get it. There's Apple and Linux. So very simple. Download it someplace where you know you could find it. I have it there, so I'm not going to download this time. Okay, so now we have to find a picture to use as the overlay and also uh, what we're going to play in the background. I like using streaming service that I found uh, by Relaxation Ambient Music. Uh, really cool. This guy's streaming 24-7 since 2018. So this is the guy I like. Very beautiful. It just loops 24-7. So this is the guy I use. I'm going to copy that. Gonna open up OBS. Um, I don't touch anything up here or over here because I don't do the streaming. So the only thing I need to do is click add down here, little plus sign. It's in the sources. Um, and I want to put a browser in there. So all I do is just make sure that's checked. Create new. Okay. Um, Overwrite that guy. I just put that link in that we just checked out and click OK. So there it is. Uh, now I just make, well, this is only, I'm only able to size it right here until I right click and choose interact. Now I could do all kinds of cool stuff. Turn that on, whatever. Uh, now, once I do the full screen, I could get out of there. Now I just resize it to make sure that it is in my in the whole screen. Okay, so I found this website called Photopea. It's uh, very similar to Adobe Photoshop, so we're going to use that to to make a quick image. Choose File and New. Change the width to 1920, the height to 1080. Uh, make a transparent background and then create. Okay, now choose the rectangle tool. And we'll just make a very basic rectangle here. I chose that. Now I'm going to right click. And select inverse. Now we're going to find the paint bucket tool. Okay, there it is. Choose that. Click on it once with your pointer and it gives whatever your color was chosen. Double click on background. And we're going to choose Pattern Overlay, click on it, and select it. Click on Pattern, and we're going to choose Metal Grid. Let's see what kind of scale do we want. And make it kind of smaller. You can kind of see it there. I'm happy with that. Thinking we want to do some type of inner shadow and a bevel on boss to make it pop a little bit. A 
Oh. Okay, we go with 10. Do we want to do a little bit of a gradient overlay? Take the opacity down. Is that how you say that? Op opacity? Just to give it a little, little bit of variation there. Okay. Now for the important part, I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, all this inside is all translucent. So we're going to make sure to save it. Sorry, export it as a PNG. Save it a space window. Okay, and now open up OBS. Now we're going to select the plus sign down here and choose image. Create new image, make source visible. Click OK. Now we're going to go and look for our object. It was saved to the desktop, space window, open. OK. So now if it comes in kind of like this, you just drag it to the top and pull it down. Perfect. There you have it. Um, if you do these reversed, uh, you can either right click on them and choose order. See how I put it on top. I'm going to move down because I want it behind the frame. So there you go. Okay, so I, I used a, a French cleat, it's called, uh, where you cut pretty much two pieces of wood at a 45 degree angle. And that'll give you uh, flexibility to move it back and forth. You could put it anywhere you want. I knew that I wanted space on both sides, so... I mean, it was kind of a pain in the ass doing it this way, but it seemed really well. You could hang um, furniture and stuff like this too, uh, even pretty heavy stuff. So, yeah, right there I was making minor adjustments. Uh, and here I am putting the LEDs on. Uh, the framing for that isn't so beautiful I had to take it apart and do it a couple times if I would do it now it'd be totally different um, the problem is when I uh, well glue glue and LEDs there was fine but just when I put the um, the fabric on there there wasn't a lot of places to connect to so, and I really needed to stretch it to get all the, all the wrinkles and stuff out. So then another thing was, how do I connect the fabric? So I think at first I got pieces of wood and screwed it down. As I stretched it to kind of get all the wrinkles out. But in the end it looked great. Okay guys, hope you liked the video, uh, hope you learned something, and uh, like and subscribe, hit that bell, thanks for watching guys, see you next time. Dave White from Whitey's Wicked Workshop, why do I always keep pointing like that? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I can show you how to do that too, if it, if it works, I don't know. <laughs> I'll probably be cutting this part out because I look stupid with my hand going like... <laughs>